Hello again guys, KN here with a new update uh, for Six Worlds and in this video I will start by showing you guys uh, what are the new additions to our uh, temporary graphic interface and then of course we will uh, have a chance to look under the hood and see how things are working here with the code I just added to the game. Okay, this thing now works as a kind of property explorer or property navigator. So basically we can browse the properties that, that we want here. So for example now we're looking at a player, player number 3. And you can see that this guy has a health bar, uh, a, a certain amount of gold and energy as well. And those things are all stats, you can see that the, this goes up to 100, gold goes up to 99, but you, you know what, uh, gold is not supposed to work like that. So uh, along, along this video, along the way, we will see that some things are not 100% consistent, but I wanted to do a video anyways because I was pretty much excited to show you guys the new things uh, that I have uh, come up with. Okay, so it also shows here, if you notice, that this thing has no effects. And this means that, for example, it would be possible to add an effect to your uh, health stat. Something that gives you, uh, gives you a little bit of extra health every turn. Or maybe I could design this as a disease and attach it to your energy stat and it would uh, decrease your energy over time. Uh, until you find a cure for this, okay? And of course, uh, there's the inventory. The inventory uh, for now can hold up to 25 items uh, and I add uh, around three items for every player. It's a random number. It says that it has three effects, but also, <laughs> uh, actually, these represents three items. The game just can't tell the difference between effects and items for now. So let's check this out. So this guy has key number 37, Key number 37 has no effects because I'm not sure uh, what keys are supposed to do in this game for now. But it's here just to show. This guy also has a hammer and the hammer has one effect, so let's check this out. Uh, the effect is called Minor Repair and it affects durability by 35 points. Interesting, huh? And this guy also has one apple and the apple has the Cure effect, which uh, adds 15 points to your health. Okay, so yeah, player three is a suspicious <laughs> kind of name, so probably we have more. And actually, if we click here, you can see that we have three players, so I'm kind of preparing the game to be multiplayer compatible. So let's check out maybe player number one. Uh, you can see that all the guys have the same amount of health, gold, and energy when they are generated or created. So let's just check out the inventory. So this guy uh, has a dagger with two effects, so let's check this out. This is a weak poison um, affecting the health by one point. So this is supposed to be an effect that has a specific durability, so it should uh, keep dealing uh, one point of damage every certain amount of time. So I'm not sure what this is going to be, so that's why this information is not included here. And it also has the effect called minor damage, uh, which subtracts 10 points from your health. Uh, this guy has also bread, so the bread was one effect. It affects energy instead of health, uh, which is cool as well. Let's maybe now check player number two. Player number two has uh, another key, dagger and bread. So yeah, every time we execute the program, uh, it will generate three random uh, individuals. So uh, yeah, <laughs> something failed there. Okay, uh, this guy has coins, so extra gold affects gold by 10 points. Let's check another guy here, player number two. Um, key, dagger and bread, nothing new. Player number one. Hammer and Hamburger. Hamburger is pretty interesting, guys. So this guy has a hamburger, and if you click here, you'll see that the hamburger actually contains meat, cheese, and bread. I don't know if I will keep this, but it's just to show you guys how things are possible, you know, how, how things are possible. Cheese is quite interesting here as well, because cheese uh, is good for your energy, gives you energy, but it's bad for our health. So some items can be like that. And this is very flexible. The way to model uh, each item and the way to link each item to each other is extremely easy and quite enjoyable. You know, I had a lot of fun uh, kind of crafting uh, all those items here. 
and yeah this is not 100% consistent but yeah if we, if we go one level up you can see that the game is the object that it's at the root of of this entire structure and uh, it has a player list, an item list, and an effect list, and actually we can see all the items in the game at the moment and all of the, the effects that we can combine to make new items, and this is how everything is working. So this is it for the, for the graphical interface for now, and maybe you guys want to have a look at the code now. You might notice that I added quite a few new uh, classes here and let's just quickly go through all of them. Um, yeah, Six Worlds is now called Six Worlds GM for uh, Graphical Manager because this Graphical Manager can and will be changed in the future. Uh, and there's not much to, to tell about this. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's move on. Okay, this is a pretty important class, this is a stat, and what it does uh, basically is keep track of values that ha have a minimum and a maximum value. So uh, every getter and setter here makes sure to keep consistency inside this object, so uh, every time you, you change the value here, it keeps it consistent so that the, the value never goes above the maximum or below the minimum and the minimum can never be changed to be above the maximum and things like that. So this is how this works. Uh, here you can see the creation of a player. So a player needs a name and then for every player we will create a stat called health and attach it to the player. We also attach the energy stat as well as the gold and uh, an inventory. So yeah, the inventory has a special variable because we need to deal with this a lot of times. So I found it uh, to be a little bit more convenient to have a private variable here. And currently the player only has one uh, important method, which is the pickup. Pickup will just add an item to the, to the player's inventory. But of course it will also check if the inventory is full uh, and uh, if, it, if the items are supposed to be stacked together, okay? And that's basically it for the players. Now, of course, uh, when I start working with the execute thing here, uh, if, if the player is a actual person, I will just read the keyboard. I will have to deal with the network stuff for a multiplayer. And if it's, if it's AI, I will just have to do the, all the AI here with the execute thing. Uh, we have the item class. This is, this class is a lot more simplified now. It has basically nothing, just an amount because items are things uh, that stack. And the reason why this is a lot more simpler than it was before is because now I decided that uh, I will just create items and stats and whatever and attach uh, effects to it. And I will show you guys how the effects work in a little bit. And it, this class was very confusing to me because Items can be, for example, armors, weapons, or tools, and those things can have durability. So I thought that I should I should create a private variable to specify the durability of an item. You know, but things like books or potions, that doesn't make that much sense. So this variable would be useless. And if I have things like food, for example, uh, I would like to fo food to add energy to the player. Because at that point, I also wasn't sure if I should add just uh, energy for the player and the player dies without energy, or if I should add health and energy as separate properties of the player. I, I'm still not sure, but this is how it is for now. And the way things work now, I can just attach whatever I want to food and to tools and weapons and everything can change basically. They have dynamic properties. Okay, so this is how this works for now. I'm very happy with this decision. Hopefully it won't bite me uh, <clears throat> on you know what. Okay, <laughs> so for the effect class, I made it very simple, but I think that this is going to get a lot more complex uh, in the future. So an effect basically, basically is uh, a object with a name and it also has a target name and what it's supposed to change. So effects are specifically created to change stats at the moment. So uh, if I create, for example, a healing factor, it will be called healing factor. It will affect uh, a link called health. 
and it will change it by some amount like two positives for example and this is how it it all works uh, nothing nothing not a lot to that you can see that i already added supports for uh, duration so for example potions can have effects that last longer or you know so yeah this internally it kind of works but i'm not too worried about this because of the things i mentioned before and finally uh, we have the the game uh, the game object here uh, which is supposed to be the root of the entire structure containing the effect list, item list, and player list. So the constructor will create the effects, items, and the players. At the moment, it will just generate three players. Uh, and here is you can see how the the effects are created. I just give it a name, uh, what it's supposed to affect, and how much it's supposed to affect this thing by. Then I create the the items with the names and then I attach the effects to the items and you can see the hamburger creation here which is pretty interesting you can see the bread being attached to the hamburger and the bread already has uh, the effects attached to it so uh, hopefully if I do the logic right if you consume the hamburger it will consume all the three items and be affected by all the the chain effects that are attached to all the objects here and this is how I create objects for now. So yeah, the game object also can execute thing, things and probably this is going to take care of the entire game. So whenever I need to give another tick to the game, uh, this will take care, uh, since it keeps a list of all the players, so all the AI, it should also keep a, a list of all the, all the effects currently running in the game. So when I execute this, huge object here it's supposed to update everything in the game and basically make the, the game work uh, okay and this is the game object which is an old object you guys know this since the last video uh, on this subject but I, I I had to do quite a few updates to this thing so now we have some new objects like any uh, I'm trying to remove this thing but for now there are some problems that I wasn't able to solve without creating a game object of type any. It sounds like a generic type, like the same thing as the generic type, but for now I can't I can't mix those up. So let's let's skip it like that. Container is something that I am considering. I'm not sure if I should do it. Like uh, some objects are just supposed to to do to store other items and the execution of of a container is it's nothing really clear to me but basically it would be a bag or a chest or I don't know th things that have on other things inside you know containers might be a thing internally but I'm not sure for now so we have here the new stat thing um, this this is super interesting so I'm planning on creating an object uh, called relation so whenever you meet someone uh, there will be a new ob object created called relation and relation is basic something that can go both ways it can be a positive relation or a negative relation which means that next time you meet the same person this person is supposed to remember who you are and what kind of relation you have so maybe if you are talking to a shopkeeper he will give you a discount or maybe he won't even sell to you. <laughs> you know, things like that should should add a lot of fun to the game. So I'm really looking forward to start working on this class here. And other than that, we have action. I'm not going to explain what this does because we already have commands here and the new effect class. And this is basically all. Of course, I, need to, I needed to do a, a lot of other changes and additions to this class here. And I still need to mess with this because this is uh, the base for everything. This is actually the most important class at the moment because it gives support to everything I'm doing here. And let's have a look. Let's just, out of curiosity, just check out just one more guy here. Okay, let's maybe go player one and see its inventory. So this guy has a sword and a hamburger. A sword, what, what would you do with a sword and a hamburger? <laughs> okay, guys, so yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, of course, as always, your opinions and suggestions are very welcome. So don't be shy, just use the comment section of the video. Uh, if you want to make sure not to, to miss my next video, please subscribe to the channel or even uh, follow me on Twitter. And 
that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.